Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I am Nathan. I'm Colton. And we are here today to talk to you guys about all different kinds of speaker wire. Uh, which speaker wire is most appropriate for your, app, your application. Uh, hopefully take some of the guesswork out of it and um, explain a little bit more about wire. All right, Nathan, so I have a bunch of wire in front of me right now. Um, you know, basically go over with me what we have, you know, as far as uh, different thicknesses, why it matters, uh, what do we use this for. You know, I wanna, wanna kinda learn a little bit about what, what wire has to offer. Yeah, sure, sure. So uh, what we've got here is um, a commercial grade speaker wire made from uh, West Penn wire. Uh, which is uh, one of our most popular manufacturers of wire uh, made here in the United States. Cool. This is all uh, commercial grade with a PVC jacket. Um, basically the jacket on the wire here, you know, is made uh, out of PVC, out of like essentially plastic, cool. like the, yeah. uh, the pipe, uh, which gives it a certain thickness and a certain toughness. But we've got some different gauges here. We've got uh, over here this big one. This is uh, AQ227. That is their uh, all-weather 12-gauge two-conductor wire. Um, we also have the conventional 227, which is just a two-conductor okay. um, stranded 12-gauge uh, wire, the thick stuff for uh, a lot of our high-wattage applications. You got you. Okay. And then we've also got 16-gauge, which you'll find we use a lot in a lot of uh, our uh, commercial designs. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we've got 18-gauge. So if you don't know a whole lot about how the gauge of uh, wiring works, uh, the lower the number, the bigger the wire. Not the higher the number, the bigger the wire. Gotcha. Kind of like, uh, well, we're both hillbillies grew up in here in Central <laughs> Texas, so yep. uh, kind of like shotgun shells. The lower the yeah. number, the bigger the wire. There you go. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, why does it matter? Well, um, basically with thicker gauge wire, you have uh, more contacts. This is what's called stranded wire. So you have um, more individual stranded uh, leads inside there. Okay. So this isn't the stuff that you pull in your house, which is what's called solid core wire, yeah. which is actually yeah. a solid copper um, conductor through there, yeah. which means that I can do this. I can bend wow. it, I can bend it in conduit, mm -hmm. uh, which makes life really easy when you're installing a speaker wire instead nice. of, uh, instead of the uh, solid stuff. Mm -hmm. So basically by using thicker gauge wire, we can make sure that the amp the wattage coming from the amplifier gets to where it needs to be without okay. losing a whole lot in yeah. between. That makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so as far as just application based, I know we went it, went over you know 70 volt and 8 ohm in previous videos. So where does wire kind of fall into that subject matter, and um, why does it matter in in that regard? So what can we get away with in a 70 volt application with? Uh, like you mentioned, the smaller wire to, to big wire, why is there such a difference and, you know, um, you know what can we see out of both applications with wire? So. Right, yeah, no problem. So based on the impedance of the signal, of the wattage, that we're, or the impedance of the speaker, uh, it changes essentially the, uh, the, the wattage type that's going to the speaker. So in a 70 volt system, we're able to use much thinner gauge wire than we would uh, if it was a low impedance system. To kind of give you an idea, uh, a lot of audio is measured in decibels, you know, three decibels mm -hmm. being half as loud uh, or, or twice as loud as what you were listening to at the time. Gotcha. So in like the case of a, uh, in the case of an eight ohm speaker, if we were to use this little bitty thin stuff here, uh, the 18 gauge wire, if we were to run that uh, you know, the length of like a, uh, uh, a speaker that's pretty far away in like a, uh, a stadium or something like gotcha. that. Okay. If we ran this wire about 200 feet, we would almost lose 50% of the wattage. So in half the sound, yeah. 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 Half the sound. No good. But instead, if we do this big thick 12 gauge stuff, the all weather stuff mm -hmm. to make sure that we keep out sun, moisture, uh, rain, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if we use this big thick stuff, before we get 50% uh, 
uh, loss, we can actually run 959 feet. That's a huge difference. Now, we, we don't really want to do that. We want to try right. to not avoid pulling that much cable whenever possible. But as you can see, it matters a lot uh, mm -hmm. what gauge you use. For most of our 70 volt applications, you're going to find us using approximately 16 gauge, maybe 14 gauge. We don't have 14 gauge here with us today, but basically you look at a 12 gauge, you look at a 16 gauge, it's somewhere right there in the middle. Yeah. Uh, but the idea being, even though this wire is skinnier, it can still handle um, much more wattage in a 70 volt system because of the nature of the electrical signal itself. Gotcha. Now, I don't Makes proclaim sense. to be an electrical engineer. There's a lot of other complicated <laughs> stuff that goes Disclaimer. into that. Disclaimer. But for, the, for our purpose here, with a 70 volt system, we can use 16 gauge and 14 gauge gotcha. to run longer distances, more wattage, uh, as long as we're using 70 volt speakers. Uh, what you'll also find is that this is a, what's called twisted pair wiring that I mentioned earlier. You'll see it's not exactly round. A lot of the stuff you have at the house, if you've uh, ever bought a home receiver, you know, yeah. has like one smooth wire where it's yeah, got two yeah. wires side by pretty. side. Yeah. yeah, like that that lamp cord or that red and black yep. or that uh, clear color stuff. That's not what we're going to find uh, from West Penn or from a lot of our uh, commercial grade manufacturers. This is going to be what's called a twisted pair. And if you see how the, there's kind of a, a rolling sensation, that's actually twists of the wire on top of itself. So your positive wire, your negative wire, they're going to twist on top of one another. Mm -hmm. Why do they do that? Yeah, it's got a lot to do with um, electromagnetism and running side by side wire long distances, gotcha. which I don't want to get too de in, de in depth Bill with Nye. all that. <laughs> yeah, we don't need Bill Nye or Mr. Wizard here. Yeah, but yeah. basically what that means is we can run this twisted pair wiring near fluorescent lights, okay. things like that in commercial applications yep. without having to worry about as much buzz or hum uh, or turning it into an FM antenna and picking up a lot of, uh, you know, the Tejano the radio station yeah. down the street yeah. and that kind of thing. Yeah. So okay. twister grade wire is the way to go. If you've got questions about which kind of wire you need for your application, mm -hmm. you guys know where to find us. 888-256-4112 mm -hmm. is our direct line. Or you can uh, reach us at www.proacousticsusa.com. Yeah, and if you want to talk directly to one of us here, um, definitely shoot us over an email. Um, you can reach me at Colton, uh, C-O-L-T-I-N, at proacoustics.com. Nathan at proacoustics.com. And uh, let us know you like what we're doing here. Drop a question down below if we can help with a particular topic that you'd like to know more about or a product we can help you with. And uh, certainly give us a shout. Check out our Amazon store, our eBay store. Uh, we've also got a wire for sale and a lot of other products on our website. Mm -hmm. And uh, let us know what we can do to help and uh, improve your audio systems. Until next time, I'm Colton. I'm Nathan. Signing off.